Hello, everyone. Good this morning. is Renee Michelle Floyd and my husband, Richard. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome to Beautiful Hair Products. Yes, I get to finally record doing his hair, y'all. It's been a long time coming, right? And so I'm going to shampoo his hair, I'm going to retwist his hair, and you're going to see the results, right? And we've seen the peppermint shampoo and the peppermint conditioner cream and, and some shea butter to twist his hair. So here we go. Let's get started. So what, how do you feel about this adventure that we're getting ready to get into? Well, I'm not very photogenic, but in an effort to <laughs> prove to you people that beautiful hair products actually has uh, been essential to my hair growth, to my hair health, um, I'm the volunteer today. So um, this will probably be the first and last time that you will see me in one of these presentations. Oh, but no, it's they, not. Thank you so much anyway. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so first... I like to water wash his hair really good, right? And that is, the purpose of that is to really loosen up all the oils. His hair is really oily. That's why his hair grows so long. <laughs> and, um, and so I like to water wash his hair really good first, squeezing it, you know. And this is one of the issues that um, I have with people that actually wear dreadlocks, sometimes they don't clean the actual locks really good. And um, so this is one way that you can do it by really water washing your hair first before you put shampoo in. And actually this is what will help you to not use so much shampoo. And you see how long his hair is. So we, he uses about uh, he can use about four, use a bottle of um, shampoo about four different times before he's going to another bottle because we do this water washing first. And um, that has always been a thing that I've done is to really make sure that I clean the locks really, really good, not just the scalp. That cuts down on odor and uh, makes your hair sparkle, right? So this is what we're doing here. And as you're gonna see, sometimes you have to work, wash it one time good, and then you come back and the suds will just form into the hair. And that's when, sometimes I wash the locks three times, right, before I'm done, because that is how you get all the oils and dirt. And so as you can see, his hair is really light and fluffy. Well, when you saw the before picture, right? It's not heavy with uh, a lot of uh, sediment in there because I like to wash the locks really, really good. I put good. just a little bit of water in here is because this shampoo actually is really concentrated, right? So I put a little water in here just to loosen up the shampoo some. So I'll work this in the first time real good. It may not sud up the first time, but it's getting the hair clean, getting the scalp. It's loosening up the, the scalp um, oils. And you never want to scratch the head. You always want to use the palms of your hand, the fingertips, because when you scratch that, um, damages your scalp. It causes uh, dandruff and dry, flaky scalp. So you may not see anything happening now, but it's gonna, it's gonna be sud sudden up pretty soon uh, the, on the second time around. So I do the first wash just to get it all loose hair like I said his hair is really oily his scalp is really oily so I usually have to wash it three times and yeah we're old school we hanging our head over the 
over the sink. <laughs> right? I don't, I never did all the years that I was doing hair, I never had a sink like at the salon where you lay back, you know, the chair. I never had that. And because uh, most of my clients were sister like clients and we didn't, you know, we didn't um, shampoo the hair. Right? So there was really no need. I mean, it would have been nice, but <laughs> I just, I didn't ever invest in that. See how it's starting to set up now? You see that? Wow. And it smells so good. This is the peppermint shampoo. Peppermint tingling scalp and hair shampoo. One of my favorites of the three flowers lines on my head. <laughs> All right. And you see how you give a scalp massage along with washing it. Next, the third shampooing, I will focus on the hair, right? I'll focus on getting the actual, this hanging hair um, really good and clean. But his hair is not extremely dirty either, so that makes it easy, good and squeaky clean. So he doesn't have any buildup in his hair at all. Beautiful Hair Products does not cause buildup in your hair. They're all, uh, you know, washable products. Clears out your hair. Okay, now I'm gonna put some conditioner on it, just to kind of um, give it that burst of softness. This is this is the peppermint conditioner. And we just we just let it sit on not long, about about literally two to three minutes. And it just kind of relaxes the hair. It's amazing, this, this um, peppermint conditioner. It's very tingly, isn't it, baby? Yes, it is. Yeah. This is our favorite when I shampoo. That means you're near the end. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> he said that means I'm near the end, yes. <laughs> I just work it into the hair real good at the root and then I will work it into the, uh, the, the hanging hair. I'm gonna leave him hanging here for about a, a minute or two at the most, and then I'm gonna lightly, lightly rinse out the, the conditioner. All right, so now we're going to, we had him leaning down for about a minute or two. It literally only take that, and his hair just, oh my God, it just softens up. And as you can see in the sink, there is not a lot of hair left behind in the sink. Right, less breakage with beautiful hair products <clears throat> because they are designed to moisturize your hair. Right? And so he reminded me of that. That's what he appreciates <laughs> is that he's not losing hair. All right. So I just rinse it very lightly. Make sure I kind of, you know, get out, get the sediment or the residue out of the hanging hair. And then that's it. That is it. Kind of wring it out a little bit. His hair is nice and clean, squeaky clean. And then we put this, this towel on that I made. I need to, actually I need to be making more of these towels. 
these are for the men here you guys know we have the towel cap for the ladies right but I love this turban this is made out of a out of a uh, <laughs> bath towel <laughs> and oh, that, are you today? Oh, yes, really? he, <laughs> he <laughs> does he does look like an Indian doesn't he <laughs> All right, so now we're going in here to twist. You see how I'm sweating, right? Now we're going in here to twist his hair, and you will see. Now I am about to retwist his hair, and you see how fresh and clean he has no buildup at all in his hair. He has lots of new growth. Look at that growth. <laughs> all that growth. His hair grows really fast, and so now I'm going to, I usually take some shea butter, some pure shea butter, and I melt it, right? And, um, and I uh, put it in his hair prior. I, you know, I usually do like uh, sections, right? And then I uh, put the warm melted shea butter in his uh, hair first and then I twist it so like you got two locks here married together right and they're and I just pop them <laughs> pop them right there it doesn't hurt does it hurt ouch <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> does that hurt no okay all right so just kind of section the hair off and then I take my shea butter my melted warm shea butter and I just kind of you know go through and saturate the roots of his hair right in this section and this is just pure shea butter too y'all this is nothing uh no other additives in this shea butter right and um it's no waxes and stuff and that's that that's another key probably why he doesn't have a build up in his hair is because i don't use the the typical store-bought shea butter, right? Because a lot of times they use um, waxes in their shea butter. And um, and this is just pure shea butter. So I just basically see it's all in my hand. And sometimes I'll just put a little bit on my hand and go like this because I'm going. And I don't use a comb anymore in his hair. I simply take his hair and just twist it like this. And then I work the shea butter down the lock right and then I just pin it down and then I go to the next one just like so and I just separate the hair and this is another reason why he doesn't have hair loss right it's because I don't put the comb I don't brush the locks you know there's a, a little fad going on where you take a brush and brush your locks and I you know we don't do all that <laughs> no, we do not. no so we, we try to save all the hair that we can right and um, that's how we do it so I will come back to you once I get this section done and then we'll keep moving right along so I so I spray I spray you know re, re wet the hair when it kind of dries out this is my spray Right, but it's in a big bottle. <laughs> so nothing is conventional with us here um, when I'm doing it, you know, on his hair, right? And on my hair, we don't have labels and things like that. So you can probably expect that. <laughs> just know that it is beautiful hair products. That's right. That, that, you know, just know that it is. <laughs> Okay, so I have finally finished retwisting his hair, right? And so I still have the clips in. And <laughs> he's, giving <it> a <laughs> he's giving a full view. So he wants uh, his eight uh, braids, and you will see that in a few minutes. But just want to see, let you see how the process is. So then I take. Um, I take the clips out, right, and 
then I, you know, section it off to go ahead and, uh, and make the uh, braid. So um, I will make these braids and then I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so now we're, I'm getting ready to braid his hair, right? And his eight favorite braids. And so I usually <laughs> just, he likes the bottom row to be uh, left free so it won't pull. So I usually take about this much out, right? From, from there. And then I am going to um, make eight braids and you will see exactly. So I just kind of separate, you know, his hair, his parts. I did not put the parts exactly straight, you know, so I, you know, just section it off like this. And, and then I just kind of put the braids in there and um, you'll see exactly how I, some of them, it seems like they're twist, right? So I pretty much, do the under braids oh uh, no 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 i do the top braids that's right so, and it's always it's usually one of a kind every time right it's like i never can get it the same exact way each time so but i don't put the braids in tight you know and then um i come all the way down here just a couple of notches and then i put a, a soft rubber band you know on it like this and I keep going until we're I just wrap it around like twice you know just to hold it in place like that and then we'll we have completed his hair now I completely completed uh, braiding it let me turn the camera around so you see his hair Okay, let me hold up just a little. Okay, so these are the, uh, how many braids is that now? Let's see, I think I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight braids, right? And so this is the style that he likes. You see how long his hair is. He likes the hair jewelry in there, right? And so, okay, so can you stand and show everybody uh, or you don't have to stand. Just hold up some and turn your head. There you go. So everyone can see your the finished product. <laughs> okay, turn the other way. All right. Okay. All right. So guys, guys, if you want, you know, the, a style that you can wear that's masculine and that, you know, you can still wear the back down. You know, the style that you would wear. Um, and uh, and he also have a couple more styles that um, that I usually put in that at his request, right? But this is the eight braids. We call it the Richard braids. <laughs> and uh, so, so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe uh, for more videos like this. I do talk about natural hair care. Um, especially sister locks, but because I was doing my husband's hair today, he has traditional dreadlocks. I wanted to share that footage with you as well. So like and comment. If you do have a comment, um, I would love to see it. And, um, you have anything else you'd like to say? Please. <laughs> Man of little words on camera. Okay. All right. So you guys have a great day. Peace. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, make a comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified the next time we upload a video.